to let it flow. Right. Let it flow. I let it, it go. Um, take it slow this morning oh on the road. Oh, my gosh. Like that. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. he's going to brag That's about how David's well that works out. That's David's first on-air rhyme oh, wow. ever. <laughs> Save that tape. Yeah. Uh, it is actually a little uh, dicey in spots, especially Omaha metro areas along and around the Missouri River. That's where the temperature has been kind of hovering around or just below the freezing point. Drizzle hits the ground and kind of freezes. I, even our cars out here in the parking lot at KETV starting to get a little bit of ice on them. So slick spots, a definite possibility around here. No advisories in place, but uh, just watch out for patchy slick spots, especially bridges and overpasses. Those are usually the first spots uh, to see some ice. So a lot of clouds around here, no real measurable precipitation. You can see there's nothing on radar, but that drizzle is around eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. The heavier rain well off to the south. Easter. That's one system. Another one, uh, a lot of moisture here coming in from the Pacific. More heavy rain here for the West Coast, especially Oregon and Washington State. Now, little disturbances embedded in that upper level flow make it through here over the next seven days. I think our first chance for rain, and it will be rain, comes tomorrow night. Decently mild around here, so I think we're talking some light rain showers as we head through Monday and then into Tuesday. A slight chance of snow in there. I think another chance of snow as we hit the end of the week. That's going to be Christmas night and into Friday. That's the system we'll keep an eye on. Doesn't look to be overly threatening, but some minor accumulating snow does seem possible at this juncture anyway. 32 degrees. It's been right around 31, 32 with freezing drizzle at Epley Airfield through most of the early morning. South wind at about 10 miles per hour. We're not going to have the sunshine today, but the south wind will try to warm us up into the mid to upper 30s for late afternoon. 35 now in Kansas City, 28 Fort Dodge. To the west, though, where there's clearing, there's the chilly air and chilly temperatures, mid teens for Valentine and Scotts Bluff. We'll keep an eye on the visibilities all morning long here, but really anything over a mile, I'm not too concerned about the fog. The freezing drizzle poses much more of a travel threat than any fog does at the moment. Storm Predictor keeps the clouds around all day. Now, I think if you're west of the metro for late afternoon, you have a better chance of some breaks in the clouds and a little bit of sunshine. I'm not terribly optimistic when it comes to Omaha's chances for sunshine today, but maybe a brief window in there where we see at least some breaks in the thicker cloud cover. Clouds fill back in tonight, more fog Develops, but a south wind really picks up heading into Sunday. So morning fog chances actually look pretty low at this point. We stay mostly cloudy during the daytime. By tomorrow night, some light scattered rain showers, and those will carry over into Monday morning. But really mild here to finish off the weekend. 43 Sunday, it's 44 on Monday. Another cold blast, though, or at least cool blast, we'll call it. 33 on Tuesday. We're in the mid 30s Wednesday. I think we do see a chance of snow by Christmas night and into Friday, but. That would eliminate your official chances of a white Christmas. Usually that's Christmas morning, inch on the ground. So oh. I don't think we actually see a white Christmas as the official meaning goes. We were going to wager about snow on the ground, and you decided not to take that bet. I so. decided not to. Yeah, we'll see, though. There's a chance. It's a pretty small Maybe. chance at this point. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Yeah.